And it be high school presents Red and Grey Night 2012-2013. Tensions are high. But you could, gray team can either advance their win or red team can tie up the game. Whoever knew smoothies would get this intense. You know, you would have it on like a nice summer day. You would right? think it would be a very smooth event, but instead. A very soothing. Soothing. Mm -hmm. Soothing king. Indeed. All right, here we go. Let's get All it right, up. They are about to begin right contest. now. Contest. Trying to get the crowds excited. Ready? They're going. They're reaching in, finding the cherry in. Oh, and did she find it already? I think. Hunter ate the cherry. She has it. Wow. She found. <laughs> Hunter found the cherry and, ate, and it. ate it. I don't think that was in her plans, but. Cherry. Maggie found the Hunter cherry. Ate it. At the, it, they did at the same time. Yeah, uh, they. Hunter she did clearly. Not show Hunter clearly found the cherry first, it was, but I don't ate know it. She ate the cherry. She threw something in her mouth. Oh wait, it and is not confirmed now. They, they don't even know. She threw I'm it in her mouth so much, so fast that That's we don't even know. Chair. She looks very puzzled. She doesn't really know. What's the ruling? And here's a replay to look at exactly what did this happen. So you can see Hunter grabbing something and throwing it in her mouth. And you see Maggie looking like, and there's <laughs> Junior Adriana Santamero, a captain of the grade team who just participated in Smokey the Bear Says. Adriana, how did you and your team stay focused to win during such an intense match? Well, personally, I tried to make sure that I was listening and like, especially watching because sometimes like when you combine the two senses, you do better. That was just my strategy. And why do you think the great team can keep your lead of 11 to 9? Well, we've been practicing since this summer. We're so organized. I just feel like we have we all love each other and we're just going to that's really going to come through. Well, good luck tonight. Back to you guys. Thanks, Kirsten. And we're coming back and it appears we are on the temperature war, which is basically tug of war. This is always a tough event for both teams. Uh, they're both very strong. All right, so now let's figure out what do you do in temperature war? I don't know. So, like, if. So, both teams, they start on one knee, one hand on the rope, the other hand in the air. When the whistle blows, on the whistle, you pull the rope until the flag is across the circle. Uh, best of three wins. This is definitely a really tough one for both it, teams. It is definitely fire versus ice right now. It's getting very heated. Yes. And we see Miss Fox holding down the rope. So talking with Brooke Mamo, they, he's very confident about his girls section for the tug of war. And he's, he's worried about the red teams that they might bring their A game here. And uh, here we go, it is on. Let's see if Gray Team can bring back the gold. We have Brooke Morris on the end for the Gray, uh, for the gray side and Taylor Holmes. Both are pulling with all their might. Now I don't want to say, I don't want to say who I think is winning, but it looks like Red Team is pulling their side across. I, I can't really tell it. They're not moving very, at very all. Very, very close. Great team is uh, pulling with all they have. Really close call. I, I don't know. I really can't tell. The crowds are getting exciting, cheering on their team. And it looks like it's going to be a red victory. team. Game. Yep, a victory for the red team. That definitely sparked some excitement into the crowds. 